Greetings, this is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is Vertzine, the magazine, the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. We haven't had a netcast in a while, and so I thought it was time to kind of update you on what's going on in the virtual world out there. And uh, to just let you know, too, that things are still progressing here in the studio, we've got uh, our two cameras set up, kind of refining it a bit and trying to get that down to where it works well with all of our technology uh, and getting it all together. So hopefully as we continue to tweak it, we'll be able to uh, continue to improve the netcast. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Vertzine Netcast, and I trust you will stay with us for news concerning virtualization and cloud computing. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the things that we blogged about. The way this works is I blog on the Vertzine blog of things that I see concerning virtualization and cloud computing that are of interest to me as a uh, virtualization engineer. And basically, I work with VMware. I work with Citrix for virtualized applications on the front end and then VMware on the back end. And then I also support Red Hat Enterprise Linux and work with open source technologies. And speaking of open source, we want to talk about uh, this week an open source tool that I think you'll find very interesting, and that is Own Cloud. O W N C L O U D. I'll put it up there on the screen so you can see that. That is an open source project, and the Own Cloud project is a way to use your very own server your private server maybe you're a small business maybe you're a larger business and you have a server that you want to sync files with using all kinds of devices you know one of the big things going on right now is uh, bring your own device BYOD bring your own device to work and there needs to be secure ways to use those devices that people bring in from the outside and you know as a uh, as a server administrator I can tell you that's a headache for a lot of folks trying to figure out how to do that. Well, OwnCloud gives you some tools that you can use to provide your own Dropbox-like uh, area for folks. Uh, and it's very flexible. As I said, it's open source. It will file sync, uh, do file synchronization. It will uh, also allow you to share data and uh, as it says here, whether you're using a mobile device, a workstation, or a web client, own cloud provides the ability to put the right files at the employee's fingertips on any device in one simple to use, secure, private, that's the key, private, and controlled solution. And they have clients for all kinds of devices, Android, and uh, you know all kinds of handhelds and so forth, tablets. So own cloud, I think, is a uh, a tool that you may want to look into as you try to provide tools for your uh, particular enterprise, whatever it may be, and the ability to, uh, you know, create your own Dropbox if you don't want to trust uh, Dropbox itself or Box.net or any of the other technologies that are out there for file sharing. This may be something you really want to look into. Now, another announcement, another item here. Version 6 of Panologic software was released June the 4th, a um, week or so ago. A little over that now. Well, no, about a week or so ago, I guess, as I record this. And uh, Panologic updated their desktop virtualization software. Now, if you're familiar with Panologic, they're the ones that have the little cube terminal, little silver cube. Looks very cool, very modern. Uh, but the Panologic software. Uh, has been updated to version 6 and uh, the new release introduces a software client Pano Virtual Client PVC which is kind of interesting the name PVC which acts as a replacement shell over a local Windows operating system to convert the computer into a Pano endpoint device that computer can then work alongside the Pano Zero client or Pano remote, remote devices and be managed from a central point so you have central management but you can now use this software to convert any PC into a Pano device that can be managed through the Pano console. So that's pretty neat. Uh, that's something that I think a lot of you will be able to leverage if you are already a Pano shop. 
Now the next item here is just kind of an interesting one, uh, kind of for fun. Uh, Nutanix is a company that uh, is breaking into virtualization and cloud computing. Uh, they have some excellent products, but they had a little spoof of the popular show Mad Men, uh, which you know is basically salespeople in the, the, the 1960s, and uh, they have a spoof called How to Build Your Own Private Cloud, and that's out on YouTube. You can go out to YouTube and uh, do a search on Mad Men Spoof, uh, and you can see that, or I have it right here in the Vertzine blog where you can link on it and see it there. So that's something you may want to check into. Uh, it's, you know, it's funny, I, I gotta admit, uh, kind of neat. So, um, last item for this time is the OpenStack group will create a new open source VDI. Now this is pretty exciting stuff. This means there will be an open source VDI to compete with VMware View, which is what we use where I work, and then uh, Citrix uh, Zen Desktop, I know very popular VDI uh, tool, and uh, this will be open source. Now when this comes out, I am going to jump all over it and I want to try it because I am all about open source and I want to see how this works. So I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, at the announcement it says uh, a consortium will announce this month the development of an OpenStack based VDI stack to rival proprietary desktop virtualization platforms of VMware, Citrix, and Microsoft. That along with recent acquisitions by Dell and VMware in the desktop virtualization space and Citrix's announcement of cloud stack based Project Avalon uh, last month signify an imminent tipping point for enterprise adoption of VDI. Now I know we have a VDI project going full bore right now and we are aiming for November 1st of this year to roll out that VDI project. It's Wow, it's a lot of work and that's uh, keeping us busy, but I'm telling you, it's, it's really going to be a tremendous benefit there uh, at the health system where I work. So a lot of hospitals are moving toward this because of single sign-on and the ability to badge in and out uh, for HIPAA reasons, security reasons. So uh, good stuff to check into and I'd encourage you to check out particularly this open source one. I mean, you can't get uh, you can't get cheaper than free through open source, but I also imagine that it won't have all the bells and whistles that we're used to from Vue and Zen Desktop. And the competition between those two leaders in the market I think are very good for the industry. Anytime you've got competition like that, it's really beneficial uh, to everyone because it keeps everybody uh, ramping up on the technology, making it better, easier to use, and more features. So remember until next time, keep your head in the cloud. <music>